guys, welcome back to another interview here on Toned In Entertainment today. We're at River City Wrestling Con, and I'm joined by the Caribbean kid, Jose De Gracia. How are you doing? I'm fantastic here. It's been a good, good weekend here. A lot of, a lot of fun meeting fans, meeting legends. Lex Luger was really nice to me, and that caught me off guard. You know, so I'm having a great time here. So he didn't hit you with like the bionic forearm or anything? No, 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 not this time. We'll not see, this time. <laughs> we'll see if I accidentally fart in front of him or something and piss him off. It's okay. I'm, I'm doing my best to hold it in. Yeah, I, I've been, a, I've been a lifelong wrestling fan way before I actually got into wrestling myself. So. I don't know, it seems natural to be here. Right. It makes sense to me. Is this your first convention? This is my first convention on this side of the table. On this side, OK. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Uh, it's, it's a whole new venture, because I also own an arcade bar here in town, OK. Uh, Rec Room. And uh, we also have the WrestleMania arcade machine uh, over in the arcade section. Uh, so you know, it's, it's, it's a little bit of everything for me here. You know, like Jacksonville is my town. This is my area that I grew up in. I know what we have to offer here as far as, as wrestling goes, and uh, I'm proud to be a part of that. Right. So on your Instagram, I saw it did say bar owner. So that is your bar. That is my bar, yes. The rec room, the rec arcade. Room, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank arcade. you. Yes. Thank you for having an arcade here in 2021. Absolutely. Yes. Right? The arcade makes no money, but <laughs> that's not the point. Right. You know, like I'm giving you, I'm giving you a place to, you know, just kind of chill. We got consoles too, you know, like we got we got tournaments and stuff coming up. We got all kinds of stuff. It's 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 a place that I would want to go to okay. if I was going out. You know, so I just wanted to bring that to everybody. The you know, average gamer age is like 35 anyway. So it's something that we want to do. Right. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm from Miami, so coming up to Jacksonville, it's a little bit of a hike. But I didn't realize. Well, I did realize because I think uh, there was a signing there at one point with a uh, red velvet. Oh, that was, uh, that's a video game rescue. It's an, video, awesome, okay. it's an awesome retro game store. They're good friends of mine. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was at uh, Video Game Rescue. Okay. Good people there. Okay. But you've got the bar where people can actually have a really good time. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Having, that's where the real fun is at. You know, there's nothing like just kicking back, opening up a beer, and beating the entire bar at Mortal Kombat which is what I do pretty regularly, honestly. Yeah? What are, what are some of the games that we can be found at your bar that people would say, oh my god, I have to go and play? Oh, for sure. Uh, well, we got WrestleMania the arcade game. I'm pretty sure that's the only one in the Florida, Georgia area. Uh, let's see. I got a big Gauntlet Legends. I got Revolution X. I got Area 51. I got the Simpsons arcade machine. Oh, the classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, uh, I got the Aliens vs. Predator Capcom machine, Marvel vs. Capcom. I got a bunch of stuff on there. I'm actually running out of breath trying to run through them all. But, uh, I mean, yeah, we got all kinds of stuff. And if I tell you everything that's there, you're not going to see what surprises I have. So come on out. Right, because you know, that's like half the fun, walking into the arcade going, oh, my God, there's yeah, X-Men here. Or exa right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> like, I, uh, I'm going to be soon in contact with a Time Crisis 3 machine that I'm getting in. So, I mean, it just... It just does it itself, really. Right. Oh, man, you are making it happen. I am loving it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You know, I got... Uh, I'm wrestling tonight. I'm wrestling uh, Mikey Spandex, uh, and you know he's incredibly athletic. So that's going to be a fun, fun match. Um, I have a book coming out that I wrote. Uh, so you know, it's I got a lot of things. I got a lot of plates in the air. Okay, what's your book about? Uh, it's a science fiction action novel. Oh, okay. Uh, it's about a team of augmented individuals coming around from around the world to fight lava monsters from inside the planet's core. I don't know what to tell you, man. It's, uh, it's nuts. Other than we have to check it out. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Uh -huh. Awesome, man. I mean, you're, you're staying pretty busy then. Yes. Wrestling, arcades, writing. I don't have sleep. That's not a, that's not a thing for me. Okay. It eludes me. That's OK. It's OK. So who are some of your influences in professional wrestling? Uh, definitely uh, Rey Mysterio was definitely my guy back in the day, watching the cruiserweights on, on WCW television. Uh, 96 and 97 Shawn Michaels uh, was definitely my guy uh, for sure um, and uh, I guess more recent more recent watching is probably like Kenny Omega uh, you know someone who's like unabashedly a nerd and shows it you know like I'm I'm starting to integrate that more you know because I have the arcade bar that's that's a big representation of me you know uh, and my theme music is uh, is a remix of Undertale you know so like I got I'm starting to, you know, bring up more about what makes me me. 
Okay. And honestly, that's what really brings you success in professional wrestling. You know, like you can wear your influences on your sleeve. And you know, like I look like I'm wearing Power Rangers gear. He does look here. Yeah. 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 And, and so, uh, you know, it's just I'm glad to be where I'm at right now. Okay. That's all we can ask for. Exactly. Yeah. It's, just be happy. Just, just be happy. <laughs> yes. Where does the term the Caribbean kid come from? So the Caribbean kid came from uh, back in the day when I started wrestling. It was me and my brother in a tag team. We were the Caribbean kids. Okay. Uh, and uh, he's no longer with us, so I'm carrying the name along uh, as uh, a tribute to his legacy. Okay. I love it. Yeah. You got to keep the memories alive. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, um, here on Tone in Entertainment, we like to talk a lot of pop culture in addition to video games and stuff like that. Absolutely. So is there a favorite movie that you have of all time? Ooh, favorite movie of all time. That's tough to say, but I'll, I'll, I'll say that, uh, you know, everyone's top 10, top five lists of movies always, is always constantly changing around, you know, like, uh, but if I had to list, like, favorite movie of all time at the moment, probably Nacho Libre, to be absolutely, okay. completely honest, okay. you know, like, I understand it's a kid's movie, and I understand some really, really dumb stuff going on, but I don't care. I will put that on as comfort food at any point in time. Uh, between that uh, or Pacific Rim uh, or uh, even Edge of Tomorrow, like top three right now, kind of, kind of alternating around. But uh, honestly, my, uh, my fiance and I, our first conversation was about the movie Predator, which came out the day I was born, so it's like my movie horoscope. Okay. So, uh, you know, I, and I got uh, a Predator tattoo not too long ago. It's the, okay. uh, the countdown. Very cool. Pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, and, you know, she has her own, like, big Predator tattoo right on the side there. Uh, so, you know, it's kind of meant to be kind of situation. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite actor, Arnold Schwarzenegger, so oh, the Predator. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Unquestionably. Right. It's, there was just such a period of everybody's life where he was the guy right. for everybody. And, like, I I wish I could have a story even remotely close to, to, to his. Right. You know. Favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger movie of all time? Honestly, I'd have to go with Predator. Predator, like, okay. Predator Predator's, you know, Predator's mine. Uh, and uh, probably the best Schwarzenegger movie is Terminator 2. Like, 100%. Unabashedly. Unabashedly, yes. Yeah. Definitely, it's my top three of all time would be Terminator 2, definitely. Up there, up yeah. there, for sure. Fluctuating with the Goonies, throwing it in there. You know. It's good. Aliens is, is, is fantastic. Right. On, on the, on the uh, top ten list. The second one, right? Aliens, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Plural, yeah. 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 There's a new Alien comic book series out that um, Marvel's doing right now. It's actually I, pretty dope. I hear it's really, really good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just, I've been like slowly collecting them, but uh, honestly, the the comic books I've been reading a lot of are the Power Rangers comics. Okay, those are fantastic. Right. Uh, they kind of go, they pick up, basically after Tommy joins the team, and then it's it's sort of like a modern take on like how Power Rangers would go, where it's like, look, there's a lot of trauma involved with like you were brainwashed and almost killed everybody, you know, like how do you deal with that, uh, and. You know, he's having, like, conversations with himself about, like, you know, they don't really trust you. The public doesn't trust you. The public's like, the Dragonzord was just trying to destroy the city. What? Now it's working with the Power Rangers? Are the Power Rangers bad now? You know, like, it's, it takes it from a, a modern mindset and sort of evolves from there. And it's really, really cool. I highly recommend Shattered Grid, uh, which takes an alternate timeline Tommy that just decided... No, I'm gonna stay evil. I don't care. <laughs> and yeah. then just completely decimates the Power Rangers. Uh, anytime you see a weird like white and green ranger combination, that's Lord Dracon, and that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> so, you know, like I, if I can get some spare cash, I'd love to get a cosplay of that. But I think uh, it'd be pretty cool. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 I mean. Wear your influences on your sleeves. Right, they're right there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> now it's interesting because your opponent today, Mikey Spandex, is reading the Turtle stuff. You're reading the Power Ranger stuff, and then I recommended to him. Have you read the crossover between the Turtles and the Power Rangers? I have not read that yet, but I know it's out there. Put I mean, it on your list. It's on my to-do list. I have a lot going on. <laughs> yes, but put it on your list. It's amazing. Okay. I did read that one. All right, good. It's amazing. I do. I do remember the uh, the 
<laughs> the Saban series crossing over, where it was like Ninja Turtles, uh, the new mutation, and uh, Power Rangers in space. Uh, they had a crossover episode. I do remember one line from that where uh, they were like, we didn't think you guys were real. We didn't think the Power Rangers were real either. Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> yeah it's, it's kind of like that in the, in the comment. It's like, oh, wait, we're big fans of yours. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. So uh, what else do we have to look forward to you coming here in the future, Jose? Oh, man. Um, as far as wrestling goes, you know, I've got... I've got all kinds of dates that are like starting to, to finally like come in. Last year was rough for everybody. Uh, last year was rough for me as a business owner, for, you know, like having to shut down on St. Patrick's Day. That was a big hit. Right. Um, but you know, we're still here, I and mean, we're still we're still doing big things here. You know, like uh, I'm at the bar almost all the time. You know, uh, I have my book Extremists coming out uh, sometime. I want to say next week. Okay. Um, so if you follow me on the socials, you'll be able to uh, find where I can, where you can pre-order it and get the links uh, to, to get it. Okay. Both hardcover and ebook, if you like. Okay. Yeah, so I got options. I still love the hardcovers. Oh yeah, gotta have a hardcover now. I have so many ebooks on my backlog, right. or it's like, yeah, I'll read Rainbow Six eventually, but you know, it just on my phone with a bunch of other things that eh, I'm never really gonna get to, you know, like, it's, it's not the same like scrolling through a PDF uh, compared to actually opening something someone put together. It's very true, because I do comic book reviews here on the channel, and sometimes I have to read the digital ones just for time purposes, because yeah. I don't always have time, yeah. but there's nothing better than cracking that book open and just embracing it all. Exactly, you can take in all the artwork, you can take in like, you can sit there and just stare at a page for I don't know how long. You might have zoned out while doing it, but you know, you're you're taking in all those details, you're taking in these moments. And honestly, that's kind of what we're trying to do with wrestling, you know? Trying to tell these stories, trying to tell something that's going to affect you, you know, one way or another. I mean, at least the the good wrestlers are doing that. I know it's <laughs> sometimes it's not so hot but that's okay it's okay we love wrestling as a whole like there's there's some garbage but you know what it's worth it because when wrestling hits you it really hits you it's it's something that really speaks to you and as we can tell by all these people that are here at the con it speaks to everybody throughout their entire childhood and it is i don't know it's something unifying about that it really is. I mean, very well said. I have nothing else to follow that up with. Fantastic. Where can people follow you Follow you at? Uh, people can follow me on Twitter, at Lucha Verde. You can find me on Instagram, at The Lucha Verde. Um, fun fact about that, I used to wrestle in a morph suit, uh, Verde, and <laughs> that's, that's what I wore to the ring, you know? Uh, that's good times. So, were you keyable, you know? Yes. Yes, you were keyable. People have keyed out, uh, you know, entirely different backgrounds. Uh, there was a place that I wrestled in Daytona, actually, that had big green screens all the way around the ring. I was like, I can't do this. Right. Someone's going to key in some weird background for you guys, and then I'm going to be dis... I'm just disappeared. I'm the invisible man now. Right. Like, it doesn't work. <laughs> so I'm just floating pads and boots at okay. this point. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's, that's the first thing I saw when I saw that character. I'm like, you're totally keyable. Exactly, yes. yeah. Photoshop and any wrestler you actually want. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm going to put you in a Power Ranger outfit just for the heck of it. Yeah, right? why not? Yeah. It's a good time. And as far as the bar goes, where can people look that up at? You can find the bar on Instagram at Rec Room Jacks or here in Jacksonville, Florida at, uh, at Five Points, which is a historic district around here. So, yeah, you can find all of our stuff all over the place. Uh, yeah, me there. Twitter, Instagram, the bar, Instagram, Rec Room Jacks, uh, on Facebook at Rec Room Jacks. Uh, so yeah, that's that's where I'm at. Awesome! I can't wait to check out this arcade because there's nothing more I like than video games and a beer. Absolutely. Uh, tonight after the show, uh, we're going over there to get put uh, NXT Takeover on. Uh, I hope I don't get in trouble for saying that. All right. No, so. no, 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 no trouble at all. It's your platform. No, I mean like yeah. with uh, the company. To, oh, oh, yeah, with yeah. Th those guys. We're legally yeah. showing. We're legally professional wrestling. wrestling. That's I mean, all you need to know. I mean, it's on the network right now. It's not pay-per-view anymore, right? Yeah. It's, Legally. It's, you just uh, happen to change the channel. And it's honestly make, kind of a gray area. I don't want to get it's into It's a gray it. area. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Well, come by and watch some professional wrestling. 
on the television tonight. Yeah. And you never know who you might see on that screen. You never know who might show up. Yeah. You're just going to have to NXT your way over there and you check to, it out. You have to be there. Have to be there. Well, thank you so much. Thank Jose you. Jose De Gracia yes. for your time and nothing but the best. And I definitely can't wait to check out that bar because I'm all about beer and video games. And you should be too, even in 2021. Combine the two. It's, gonna, it's, it's amazing. It's okay. amazing. It's amazing. And guys, if you like amazing interviews like this with the Caribbean kid, Jose De Gracia, make sure you stay tuned in here to Toned In Entertainment for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Do it. Go now. Do it now.